Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. This is going to be our next installment of the Yuletide Tarot series. So if you want to see a message from the cards, come on in, have a seat, and we'll get going in a few minutes. Uh, I do want to say uh, thank you so much for viewing if you've watched the whole series so far. Um, I appreciate the support. Um, but if you're just finding this, that's cool too. Uh, welcome, come on in, and we'll get a message from the cards in a minute. Um, I do want to say that if you like what you see in the video, please go ahead and click the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons so you can stay in the loop for when I post new work. Um, I have also included a link, all of my social media links, all of that is in the description. I've included a list of the decks I'm using for this reading, and we're gonna we're gonna get into the message really quick. Um, yeah, let's let's see what let's see what we got. This message is timeless, so whenever you find it, um, it is meant for you to see. Um, and I thank you so much for watching. Okay, to the cards. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, um, I'm gonna start with some oracle cards and then we're gonna move into our tarot. Okay, all right, let's see what we got. Okay, so for our oracle, to get ourselves started here, we have rock bottom. Okay, there's rock bottom. We have um, phenocyte. Uh, this represents the light of the soul. Okay. We have, um, when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Okay. And finally, we have Nemesis, um, which represents avenging, revenge, outcomes, and justice. All right. Some of you have had a knockback. Some of you have been, some of you have been hurt. Okay. Um, and you're feeling, you're feeling really, really some kind of way. You're, you're very much in your feels. Okay. Because you, you want to see you're in a low, okay, and that's, there's no shame in this. There's absolutely no shame. If you're feeling down about what happened, that is okay. It is real, it is valid, and it is important, okay? Um, but let's acknowledge the fact that you, you are in fact here, and it hurts. It sucks. It's, right? It's not okay. You want things to change. You want, you want a better outcome for yourself than what you were given. Um, the problem is, <laughs> the problem is that, that I feel like some of you are kind of stuck. And I mean, it stands to reason. Um, but here's the thing, you know, you're low now, you can come back up, okay? Give yourself some time, give yourself a chance to really nurture yourself, get in touch with your inner light, okay? Um, and know that you have, a chance to to pause and reflect and which I would suggest that some of you may take that opportunity um, because I feel like some of this is you wanting to act on impulse okay so please be careful right now and how you're taking action but also know um, that you have you have certain things about yourself that are they're not up for debate. Those things are not up for debate. This inner light, not up for debate. You carry it with you wherever you go. You're, you, you, it shines in its own unique way, okay? When you find what makes you certain of yourself, of your personhood, of, of what you value in this world, when you can lean on those things, then it's like, you know, this this issue over here, whatever put me down here, yeah, it hurts. It really sucks. But it doesn't have to be the end all. It doesn't have to be um, 
it doesn't have to be gross. It doesn't have to be uh, painful forever, okay? And when you can start telling yourself that it happened and I am I'm going to come back out of this rut, then the world doesn't seem, the world won't seem as sad or scary, okay? So on that note, let's get into our tarot and see, um, see what kind of work we may need to do to get ourselves up from rock bottom, okay? Let's see here. What do we need to see, please? What do we need to see from our tarot, please? Okay. All right. Okay. One, two more, actually. One more shuffle, though. Here we go. Ooh, okay. We have an interesting card coming out already. Let's see what else we need. All right. Okay, one more. Okay. So for our tarot, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, the Nine of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords. We have Strength. And we have, oh my gosh, we have the Five of Swords. If you watched the last video, this one came out in it as well, which is interesting because it's also a repeat card. So some something in your space has not been what you expected. It's cost you a little bit. Um, and I think this might be, um, this might be in terms of your boundaries, your morals, your values, what you, you basically you denied your operating code um, because you let yourself, um, you let yourself give in to something you thought would be healthy for you. Not necessarily. Honestly, not necessarily. Okay, and because look, look at the thing, look at where you've ended up with it, okay? But again, um, you can come back up if you're feeling some kind of way over it. Um, it's real, it's valid, it's important, right? So there's that. Um, what else I'm seeing here, it's causing you some anxiety, okay? And this is what's keeping you in this low, low spot, right? Ew, not fun. Not fun at all, okay? Pause for a moment though. Let's not get, let's not get carried away and, and yeah, let's not get carried away here because we do have, we do have an encouraging word in this and that is that you have the ability to get yourself out of rock bottom. You have the ability to look at where you are and and know that this cage of anxiety this feeling of yeah the, these feelings of anxiety and being trapped excuse me they aren't going to last forever they aren't going to yeah they aren't going to hold you back forever because you are also you're the beast and you're the angel Okay, you can be calm and you can have rage. You're dualistic and you're both and you're amazing. Don't forget this, okay? Now I'm gonna pull another set of tarot um, because I, I would like to, I'd like to encourage you a little bit further, um, especially if you're, if you're feeling down about where you're, what's going on around you. Um, you already know what I'm going to say on the matter, but let's see um, what this extra set of tarot, 
cards may have in store for you, okay? All right, you have the Eight of Cups. I like that we're seeing this card. With the Eight of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles, okay? We have the Hierophant. I also really like that we're seeing this card too. Beautiful, love the Hierophant. And we also have the Ten of Wands, okay? So when you're coming back up from this uh, up from this issue that you're that you're dealing with right now you're gonna find yourself moving on um, and you're taking the responsibility of doing that work right whether that's shadow work um, literally forgiving somebody for hurting you whatever whatever this responsibility is whatever this transition you're trying to initiate, it's, it's going to be a lot of responsibility. And it's going to be a lot of, um, it's gonna be a lot of reflecting that needs to happen here, okay? Um, because you're, you're, there are going to be some things that you're going to have to turn your back on. That, that's a non-negotiable, okay? There's going to be some things you leave behind but you have a new offer on your plate, okay? Um, there are new seeds to be planted. There are new, um, there are new fields to, to build on, okay? This thing that happened over here, yeah, it's, it's, it's done, it's over, it, something failed. Okay, okay, let's deal with it, let's deal with the emotions. Let's figure out how to move on, okay? Let's figure out how to move on, how do we balance that responsibility because we have, we have something new coming to us. There's a new opportunity to maybe, maybe make some money back. Maybe this is a financial loss that has really hit you hard and you're trying to make that money back, okay? Okay. Um, but you're also learning lessons and how to, you, you've learned your lessons, right? Now it's, now it's time to apply them. And in specific, um, these lessons are to do with how you potentially process stressful, um, anxious behavior, right? Okay. And I'm getting, I'm getting to that because of these other cards, um, The best reward that I think could have come out of this reading is that you find your personal rightness. You find your your moral compass. You find your values and your your rightness as a person. Okay, because um, I think part of the pain that you've experienced in this situation is a loss of your uh, a loss of a sense of who you are. Okay, this is it's coming back. It's coming back, okay? So we're gonna pause it there. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I love you guys. I hope this was helpful and resonant for you. Um, I will be back very soon with a new video for this series, so stay tuned. I'm excited to share what we get. Um, but in the meantime, stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Bye, everybody.